A while ago I got the Mario game known as Super Mario Odyssey and I've yet to pass the main Bowser boss. I am a terrible gamer, but what made me the most interested about this game was the amazing machine known as the Odyssey. It's a big, hat-shaped, likely steel-based machine that is seemingly propelled upwards by tiny, elongated little spindle thingies that are on the bottom of it. But there's no way in hell that it's the only way things are propelled up. I think there's some magic in the sails, obviously, since they need to be powered by moons, so I decided to ditch the spindles as I believe they're just extra support. In the real world, a full and complete Odyssey would look like a hot air balloon. Yes, I'm talking about the one with maximum moons. So, in this game, my question is, how hot would the air have to be inside in order to lift such a balloon if it were a balloon? Would it cause the gold lining to utterly melt away? It's obviously not a hot air balloon at the beginning, meaning the spindles go in overdrive, but when you finish, the Odyssey magically turns into a full balloon. What once was a sail has become a ball of whateverness made of solid gold. So realistically, how hot would it need to be if it weren't magic? Hello, I'm the Theorizer, and we need to look at the Odyssey if it were just sheerly floating. No accelerating upwards or downwards, just standing still in the air. In that case, the force of gravity pulling it down would be equal to the force of hot air pulling it up. And luckily, the buoyant force formula can be reworked to solve for the density of the air inside the Odyssey, which we can then compare to graphs created by applied scientists which measure how air density changes with temperature. Let's begin. So the force of gravity is easy, most people should know it if they took basic science in school. It's famous, and if you've even watched any of my other videos, you should know the answer. Force of gravity is equal to the mass of the object times the acceleration of gravity pulling it down. In a recent video where I calculated the size of Odyssey's planet, I managed to figure out that Super Mario Odyssey has a planet of which the gravitational acceleration is approximately 36.3 meters per second per second. Normally when I'm calculating these things, I just use Earth's gravity, since oftentimes Mario things I'm testing, I put into the real world. And since each Mario game has a different gravity, it would all be too inconsistent. However, this is restricted to a single game, and this particularly needs to be tested in its original environment. So that's half of the formula already knocked out. Now we need the tricky part. How heavy is the Odyssey? So assuming it's made of steel, based off of the shine shape and likelihood of most aerodynamical vehicles, that would mean it has a density of 8,050 kilograms per cubic meter. If we can find the volume, which is just the amount of space this thing takes up, then we can just multiply it by the density to find the mass. So the Odyssey is composed of roughly four main components that make up most of its weight. The main cylindrical steel shell, the larger cylindrical flat steel base, the big balloon at full potential, and all of the furniture inside, plus little other things to compensate. We can only estimate that last one with common rules for houses. It'll be very rough, but based off of what we can see inside the Odyssey, we'll have to go with a very rough weight. Assuming it's somewhere in the middle between empty and full, all we can really do here is assume that there will be roughly 50 pounds per square foot. It's very, very, very rough, and doesn't even fully apply, but it will in fact compensate for other things, such as the magic container and the spinning propellers on the bottom, as well as the strings holding it to the balloon. In that case, after comparing Mario's confirmed 5 foot height to the outside of the Odyssey, which by the way only looks bigger on the inside, we find that it's only around 158 square feet inside, which means a rough weight of 360 kilograms or so. But the steel that the Odyssey is actually made of would knock out whatever little pathetic mass the gold balloon or square footage would include, so they can practically be negated. And so, the walls and the shells formulas are these, and comparing Mario to the Odyssey again, while also using the flat base's volume formula, we end up with a total of 354 cubic meters of steel. That's a total mass of 2,849,723 kilograms of steel. And just for comparison, multiplying the volume of the gold surrounding the hot air by the density of, I assume, pure gold, like most big balloons such are made of, we get its mass a measly 23.27 kilograms. 
See what I mean? We can practically negate the masses of the balloon and the inside furniture since the steel is just so much. But on the bright side, if it is pure gold, that's around 915,000 US dollars at this point in time. By adding them all together, we get a total rough mass of the Odyssey of 2.85 million kilograms. See? I told you the gold balloon would add like nothing. It practically didn't even need to be there. Multiplying it by this planet's gravity, we get a force of 103.4 million newtons. Reworking the buoyant force formula, we divide the force by the gravity and the volume of the entire balloon, which can be found with this formula. Easy, I already compared, and boom! All we need to do now is subtract this new number from the density of air, and we get the density of the hot air inside the balloon. Only problem is this. We have no idea what the density of the surrounding air on planetosity even is. And I spent weeks trying to get this, I used up 20 pages in my notebook, but we just lack the required information to dissect the atmosphere of this planet. So a while back I ran a little test, a backdoor method if you will. I jumped Mario off of a tall building in-game and found very tentatively using the terminal velocity formula that a possible air density for this planet is somewhere in the ridiculously high range of 20 kilograms per cubic meter. That's 20 times thicker than our air. But even then, the balloon, if it were filled with hot air, could not fly it would still be stuck on the ground. Considering all else we see, if the atmosphere was that thick, it would be half of Earth's pressure, possibly. That seems counter-logical, but the math says it's so. Although for it to just get off the ground at all, it would have to be in an environment of which the density of air was a whopping 184 kilograms per cubic meter, which would result in the world where the air pressure around you would be as tight and pressurized as if you were 116 feet underwater. So all in all, a video that set out to discover the possibility of a theoretical application of the Odyssey has turned into a full-on dissection of the planet. We can use this in the future. Brilliant. Until next time, I'm the Theorizer. More lore videos coming real soon.